Today's question comes to us from Bob down in Myrtle Beach. Now, Bob is a little guy looking for a martial art for self-defense. He says, I heard that BJJ was designed for smaller, weaker people to defeat larger, stronger opponents. I'm 5'5", five five, I weigh 140 pounds, I'm older, and I get injured very easily. Is BJJ right for me? Well, thank you for the question, brother. Actually, I think I should handle this one. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu was not designed for smaller, weaker people to defeat larger, stronger opponents. No martial art was. And in a lot of ways, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is one of the worst martial arts for smaller, weaker people. Right now, a bunch of BJJ nerds are already screwing themselves into the ceiling over that statement. Or I guess more accurately, they're screwing themselves into the ground. Because maybe you've seen Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu used by a smaller, weaker person to defeat a larger, stronger opponent. Maybe you've even used Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu yourself against a stronger, larger opponent. And if you've been following this channel for any amount of time, maybe you've even seen my admittedly crappy, garbage, basic jujitsu used to defeat larger, stronger opponents. So if you're confused, it's probably because you're arguing with something that I'm not actually saying. You might have issues with the idea that Brazilian jujitsu can't be used to defeat larger, stronger opponents. Nobody's saying that. I'm saying it wasn't designed to. Saying that Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu was designed to beat larger, stronger opponents is like saying that hard work and smart financial decision making were designed to help poor people become wealthy. Yes, they can help poor people become wealthy, but they can also help wealthy people become wealthier. In fact, it works even better if you already have money. Much like Jiu-Jitsu works better the bigger you are. And maybe you're kind of seeing where I'm going with this already and you're like, okay, I get it, that makes sense, but this video actually isn't for you. If you already get this or you think this is all just kind of pointless semantics, there's a good chance that one day someone's gonna ask you about what martial art is right for them. So this is gonna help you answer that question when a smaller, weaker person asks you about martial arts, in particular, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. The idea that Brazilian Jiu Jitsu was designed for smaller, weaker people to defeat larger, stronger opponents, at best is a gross oversimplification. At worst, it's deceptive marketing. Now, I was new to BJJ, but I was not new to grappling because I was a wrestler. One of my very first classes at BJJ, I was paired with this purple belt. He was a little guy, buck 40, buck 45, possibly a buck 50, maybe a buck 55 or a buck 60 or a buck 65 soaking wet, right? And I knew that I would be able to take him down because I was a wrestler. I just didn't know what to do when I got there. And sure enough, the round started. I took him down. He put me in a triangle. We stand back up. I take him down. He put me in an armbar. Didn't matter how many times I took him down. He was able to put me in a submission because I didn't know anything about submissions because I was a wrestler. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu was designed to help people that knew Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu defeat people that don't know Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. When the two people both know Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and their skill levels are equal, the bigger guy usually wins. It's never better to be smaller. That's why there's weight classes. That's why no one's like trying to pack on pounds to get into that bigger weight class. And now somebody's gonna be like, yeah, but if you're smaller, you can like get up underneath and put your butterfly hooks in, you know, like, yeah. And maybe because my legs are like this big, sometimes it's easier for me to go from knee on belly straight to mount without getting put back in guard, but for every little consolation prize for being smaller, for every little time that it helps to be this little tiny ball of skill and technique, you are going to get smashed nine other times. It's never better to be smaller unless we're playing hide and seek. But if we're talking about fighting, doing violence, two people doing violence to each other, being bigger is always better. Always. Fast forward a couple years and that purple belt's now a brown belt but I've got my blue belt and I know a bunch of submissions, right? And I know how to escape submissions. And uh, sure enough, we roll again and I take him down and this time he can't put me in a submission. Now, when I said that in many ways, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is one of the worst martial arts for smaller, weaker people. This is what I mean. It's a grappling art. Size and strength matter more in grappling than they do in striking. I would gladly give 50 pounds away in a stand up, only fight with someone. Giving away even 20 pounds in any kind of grappling exchange makes a huge deal. When you compete in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, yeah, there's weight classes, but the training for it, the training for it is miserable for smaller people. Everyone in the room is bigger and stronger than you. And when you're starting out, everyone's better than you. You're gonna get smashed. 
it's gonna suck and you might think, oh, well, if I'm smaller, I'll, get, I'll have to get good really quick. Uh, yeah, kind of, sort of. You'll get good at like surviving but you're not gonna thrive. You, you won't even have a chance to relax and learn because even when you develop a little bit of skill, when you start threatening people that are bigger and stronger than you, their, their brain short circuits and they spaz out. Big people hate when a smaller person even threatens them at all. And maybe you think I'm a little underqualified to talk about BJJ, but there's nobody more qualified to talk about being smaller and weaker. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu training is miserable for smaller, weaker, older, frail people. It sucks. And if you pay attention, you'll notice the guys that telling you, yeah, getting hurt is just part of the game, or like, yeah, you can use technique, are always big, strong, young, and good at fighting. So the moral of the story is even though I was a wrestler, this little guy, this guy who's much smaller than me, was able to submit me using BJJ in BJJ class. But when you talk to smaller, weaker people who are experienced in really any martial art, the discussion is a little more nuanced. Which brings me to the point of this video. If you're an experienced martial artist, or if you pretend to be one on Reddit, one day someone's gonna ask you for advice. Might be a friend or family member, might be someone on the internet, but someone's gonna ask you, hey, I'm a small, weak person, what's a good martial art for me? And 99% of you are gonna grossly oversimplify it and say, go to BJJ. I mean, yeah, that'll help, but there's way more helpful advice you can give them. You can tell them the truth. And the truth is that when you're the smaller fighter, Everything you do matters more. Everything. Every punch you land matters more. Every punch that lands on you matters more. You have to fight harder to stop every takedown and you have to fight harder to get your takedowns. You have to. You have to be better at any given martial art than someone who's bigger and stronger than you to achieve the same result. What you had for breakfast matters more. How much sleep you've had matters more. How strong you are, how fast you are, how much aerobic endurance you have, how much anaerobic endurance you have. Your bone density matters more. Your reflexes matter more. Every mistake you make will get punished more than someone who is bigger and stronger than you. Everything you do matters more. You will have to be more skilled to get the same results as someone bigger than you. A 25 year old, 200 pound, six foot dude uh, he needs two stripes on his white belt and he's like handling most of the people on the planet. If you're a 120 pound woman, you need a brown belt. And even then, we're mostly talking about survival at that point. Because if you're smaller and weaker, there is a good chance that you're gonna end up up underneath someone who's trying to hurt you. Now, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu training sucks for smaller people. It just sucks. You're gonna be training with bigger people, stronger people who are better at fighting than you. It sucks, but guess what? That's where you need to be. Cause yeah, when you go to training, you're gonna end up up underneath somebody getting smashed and you're gonna need to learn to deal with that. And you're gonna need to learn to get out. And no martial art does that better than Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, period. That's not even up for debate. Uh, that one, I can say this isn't my opinion at all. There's no martial art better than Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for when you're like this and they're like this. There's just not. I don't even know that there's a martial art that properly addresses it, especially when it comes to self-defense. You have to go to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu if you wanna to learn to defend yourself as a smaller, weaker person. But don't go in there thinking that it was designed for you. It wasn't designed for you. Nothing was designed for you. Maybe mopeds. Mopeds were designed for you. Remember Myrtle Beach, Chad? Dirty Myrtle. Went down there for that tournament, brought back more than medals, if you know what I mean.